In less than two hours, the amount of sunlight falling on planet Earth can meet our total global energy needs for an entire year. So imagine a breakthrough in technology that enables us to use as much of the sun's energy as we need. With materials so efficient and cost-effective, we no longer have a reason to burn coal or gas. At the University of Washington, we believe the best prospect for such a breakthrough is in the area of solar energy. The Clean Energy Institute was founded as a way to keep our state at the forefront of solar technology to drive the science and the people forward so that Washington continues to be a leader in this area. The sun can really power an amazing future economy if we're able to store it and distribute it and get it to the people when they want it so that when they flip a light switch, that light switch turns on whether it's day or night. Clean energy from the sun will be everywhere in the world. It will be ubiquitous. What we're trying to do uh, in the Institute broadly is transform the rate at which society is adopting clean energy technology. We're training the, the next generation of students and postdoctoral research scholars who are going to be the leaders who found companies, who create the technologies, who file the patents to make next generation solar, next generation batteries, and smart grid technologies a reality. There's a lot of basic science and research and development that goes into technology development. And so you have to lay the groundwork. In my research group, we're developing new types of chemistry to be able to basically print or paint solar cells. So we talk and work with chemists who synthesize different types of molecules. We talk and work with electrical engineers who focus on a lot of the device physics and even larger scale implementation of these things. And we talk and work with physicists who want to understand the very minute details of how a photon of light interacts with the electrons in a material. Semi-transparent solar cell can be integrated as a window in every building. Every high-rise building will have this is a semi-transparent solar cell uh, sitting there and silently collects uh, light and transforms that into electricity and to provide all the application within your building. Solar power is a great thing to work on, but if we're using toxic chemicals, toxic solvents, and also using too much energy to create the device, there is not really much point in making the solar cell. So one of the things that we're trying to do is to develop new chemistries that will allow us to use more environmentally friendly methods and also use less energy. So here's just an example of a flexible type of device that we can use and that you can just carry around. And because it's made of a polymer, the device is flexible and it's a lot more lightweight than what we currently have. In our lab, we try to develop so-called nanostructured vanadium oxide as the cathodic material uh, for lithium ion battery. The vanadium oxide will be able to accommodate or store at least the double amount of the energy uh, compared with today's lithium ion battery. So if you drive a car with today's lithium ion battery, you can drive 50 miles. With our battery, we can drive 100 miles. One of the difficulties with solar and energy is that, as we all know, the, the sun does not always shine. So the amount of energy produced by these photovoltaic panels tends to change, and sometimes change quite rapidly. Having a better understanding of how the demand for energy uh, changes over the course of the day and within, within buildings will help us uh, refine the models that we use to optimize the operation of the grid. The technology we are developing uh, has the potential to cut the price of solar energy in half. And we're talking about expanding the penetration of solar energy across the globe such that it's ubiquitous. If you're not making the discoveries today, you won't have the technologies tomorrow. As we plant these seeds, in a decade hence, we'll start reaping the benefits. We'll generate those technologies. We'll train that workforce. We'll transform the clean energy economy. We'll benefit our region and we'll benefit the world. Imagine materials installed on rooftops and in translucent windows in buildings across the country and around the world. Imagine a grid smart enough to store sunlight and use it for power, not just when the sun shines, but any time we want it. Today, we have millions of computers that run Windows. Tomorrow, we could have millions of Windows that run computers. These aren't wishful fantasies. These are genuine possibilities being advanced every day here at the University of Washington. We all have the opportunity to support this effort. With your help, 
We can accelerate the development of these technologies. We can prepare a workforce. We can promote policies that will eliminate the impacts of carbon pollution. We can grow an economy grounded in abundant clean energy. We can leave a lasting legacy.